We're at Hospitality News Live here at Harika Beirut. Uh, it's our third day of the show. It's the second to last show, and it's on 3 till 9 p.m. Today I've got a chef with me. He's Lebanese, but he doesn't work in Lebanon. He's already featured in our magazine, as you can see him here. And he's executive chef at the Intercontinental Abu Dhabi. But that's not, what, that's not all. He does many other great things as well, and I'm going to ask him what are those things. Good, hi, how are you, David? How are you? Good, good. good. Uh, so basically I'm working for the IMG, and not just only for the Intercontinental. I'm, I'm representing basically the IG for everything related to culinary in the UAE. Yeah. And I'm in charge of all the Abu Dhabi ones. So basically my title is the culinary ambassador representing IAG in Abu Dhabi. Right. So uh, in charge of all concepts that's happening in Abu Dhabi for all the IAG, Crown yeah. Plaza and everything. I did the opening of the biggest uh, Crown Plaza, which is the benchmark and the biggest project on earth, which is the uh, Yas Island. Yeah. So I was there for, for, for since 2009 till, yeah. till 2000. 11, of 2011, yeah. and then after that I joined the Intercontinental Abu Dhabi. Intercontinental Abu Dhabi is to be right now uh, number five on earth yeah. in the world okay. for IG, and then that's the biggest uh, Intercontinental. We do, we do, I do oversee like 12 artists just only for the IG for the Intercontinental Abu Dhabi, and then I do have like 273 team members with me. Excellent, big job then. Uh, small army. Like, like, like small army. Very like small army. How, 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 I mean, how do you how do you organize it all? How do you organize yourself? What are, what are your tips to a chef who mm. just starting out? He's not going to come into your job, but I mean, you must be well organized. You know, I'm a very straightforward person. I might be like very smiley and things like that, but I work, I'm very smiley still. I do believe in one thing, right people on the bus, wrong people on the bus. You employ the right people and then you would have the smile on all their faces. Yeah. You employ one wrong and then the whole the rest could look at them. They did something wrong as a management. Mm -hmm. So basically I believe in, in hiring the right people. I do have 12 artists as I said and then most of these outlets do have the right leader on board. Once you have the right leader on board it is like the team under them. Yeah. They get the smile and then they get the support. Yeah. And they rely on them and then basically I have to deal with the other company. It's about, it's about management, is it? Absolutely. So management is everything. What sort of managers take? Uh, be a role model. Be a role model. Be a role model. Be a role Lead by example. Lead by example, like a teacher. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, here today you're in Beirut, which is not Abu Dhabi. We're not in UAE, but we support all these countries in the Middle East. What are you doing here at Horeca 2015? Well, I've got the honor, actually, to, to be invited by, by Lebanese. Like, like we call them in the UAE, you know, they are the biggest family and I do really appreciate what they have done. I haven't yeah. been in the country, especially for the Salon Culinaire, yeah. since 2007, that was the last time I had been. And in Lebanon, basically, I come only for a few days, yeah. for a vacation, one yeah. time. And what I have seen today from the level of culinary, you know, from the smile and then from the size of the show, if you look into it, this is 2007, the last time I've seen it. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to say it's shocking, it's like very proud to talk about it. Yeah, I go sure. back to you, yeah, yeah. it's like I would be spending a week at least talking about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 In this Europe, yeah. right? So, uh, looking into that, it's like you feel proud that, guys, come on, look what's happening yeah. here. And then, I mean, I'm really honored to be invited by by the Orica team to, to, to be part of the jury for this year. Yeah. I was in Kuwait and you know, now I'm joining them here. Yeah. And then honestly, I need to I need to give them like uh, I'd say that the the, 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 the full I'd say that like like beside the support, I'm really very happy to support them anyway. They need it. I would be more than happy to support them. But it's like we need to give them the the the, the great. Say thank you and well done for what you have done. Yeah, for Horika. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you're on the jury, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So you jury since two days and then till tomorrow evening. Tomorrow and and what? Tell, tell me about the contestants, the competitors, the young chefs. They're young chefs around there. So have you seen anything that's like blown your mind? <laughs> for good, <laughs> not for bad. Well, I, I managed to live with the team, with the team of the jury. Yeah. I managed to live like four or five goals. Yeah. And you wouldn't give gold just for the sake of giving gold. Yeah. A gold is a gold. Yes. And you, you need to look into it from a different way as well. Yeah. The minute that you give a gold, he's going to be very proud of saying that I've been given.